Well, it's a lovely day for a True Story Tuesday, the untold stories of the UQ sports community. And today we've got a beauty. We're going to introduce you to a dynamic duo swimming team. Hello, guys. How are you How going? Hey. Go? Very nice day to come down to the UQ Aquatic Centre. This is Katia Deedkind. Say hi, Katia. Hi. And this is Dave Hayden, who's the UQ go, Sport swimming coach excellent uh, and a very good man to have a chat today we uh, we want to get to know how the uh, coach and athlete relationship works but also maybe you two can get to know each other a little bit better maybe some questions that you don't so much ask each other Dave I'd love to know what movie always makes you cry uh, there's not too many movies but I have to say uh, Shawshank Redemption really yeah yeah Great so movie. Get, get get busy living get busy uh -huh, dying. good Good. Yeah, Can so you do a Morgan Freeman voice? No, no, I'm not doing a Morgan Freeman ah, voice. Ah, yeah. Andy Dufresne. <laughs> what about you, Katia? Oh, I cried in the fold in our stars and that's about it. That's it? Yeah. That's pretty tough. She's a tough nut. What's, tough your, nut. what's your biggest phobia, Dave? It'd have to be rats. Rats? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't like them either? I actually like rats. I actually don't mind them. What's your biggest phobia? The dark. Really? The dark. Yeah. The dark. The dark. The dark. <laughs> Dark. Dark. Yeah, dark. dark. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, I need a night light to make you feel comfortable, kind of thing. Who's your biggest sporting hero, Katia? Oh, definitely Kate Campbell. Why is that? Oh, she's just an inspiration. I want to kind of be like her, go to the Paralympics and well, Olympics, and kind of smash it out there. Good hero to be like, Dave. Um, I'm gonna go a football star, so Wayne Bennett. Wayne so Bennett, coach of the Broncos, another. Or for, for most of the time, coaches the Broncos, um, just because uh, his culture that he develops in the yeah. team, um, his personal relationships that he forges with his staff and athletes. Pretty prickly um, guy at yeah. times. <laughs> Very finally, before we get into some actual sports stuff, if you had to sing a karaoke song, what are you going to choose? Um, I think I'd sing Wild Things. Wild Things? Can you give us a demo? No. Please. No. Come on. No, I'm good. Dave? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go sort of like Queen, maybe Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, nice! Can you, like can you do the head high... banging? Nah, not doing nothing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a bit of, come on. Bit of change. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, nah. Oh, I'll say, we save, I'll sing. save it for the pool deck. I'll save we it for swim, the pool deck. We swim, we don't sing. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get to some sporting questions because it's a really unique relationship between the two. Katia, you're a vision impaired swimmer. Yeah. How did you get to take up the sport? Well, as a vision impaired athlete, you can't really. Well, for me, it's pretty hard to do team sports, which I tried doing and I just couldn't do it. So I decided to get into the pool and try something individual, mm -hmm. really. Does it affect you in the pool? Is there certain things that make it difficult for you? Oh, I um, can't see the black line at the bottom of the pool sometimes. Tumble turning is a real difficult thing. Sometimes diving in the middle of the pool, not onto the wall, the lane rope is pretty funny to watch. And staying on the sets is pretty difficult to know what I'm doing without looking at the board. On those, Dave, how do you go about combating that and yeah, helping look, it out? From my perspective, she handles herself really well. So I deal, her, I deal with her as any other athlete in the, in the program. So I don't give her any special, treat, any special treatment. Um, I run a pretty fun, interactive program. So I think that they've got to be having fun. Is it fun? fun. Yeah. Okay. So they've got to be having fun. They've got to be enjoying what they're yeah. doing. Otherwise, they're not going to want to come back the next day because swimming is very intense. Do you use any, any aids in the water? Um, sometimes we'll throw down um, a witch's comb yep. just to identify where that black line is or where that wall's coming up to. Um, and uh, obviously, there's, there's the teammates will help her out with the time cycles, mm -hmm. so they'll they'll be aware of her her um, inability to look at the clock <laughs> and keep cycles, so they'll help her out. Um, so apart from that, she 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 does really well. Mm. You're only 14, uh, a member of the UQ Swim Club here, but you've had some terrific success so far. Can you let us know some of the highlights? Uh, there's a um, list, but there's some good ones. Last year, um, I went to visiting school games for school, and I think that's probably one of the best, best meets I've done in a while. I was doing PBs in every race. I was having a great atmosphere, meeting new people, new staff members. It was really great. And four Australian swing records, that's the big one. You haven't even touched on oh, yeah. that. Come on, you've got to give that a mention. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, I got um, 2014, I got three, and then I kept adding on to them as the year went on. As you aged up. Yeah, yeah as I aged up and got faster, quicker, stronger. So, yeah. Pretty modest. Four, yeah. four records, that's yeah, pretty yeah. good. Um, how far do you want to take swimming? I mean, where's the realistic goal for you? What are you, what are you aiming towards? Definitely Paralympics. Um, 
I think really just trying to do world records as well, but mainly the Paralympics and going to the high level. And Dave, how do you think she's going? It's all good signs so <laughs> yeah, far. Yeah, oh look, she's um, she's doing really well. She's um, exceeded all my expectations over the short period of time she's been with me. Um, longer term, 2020, I think we we go Paralympics, we go world records. Yeah, and that's why why stop anything less? So yeah. that's that's where my head is at, and we've got a long way to go. Um, but. I'm not going anywhere and hopefully she's not going anywhere and we can work together and, and develop as a coach and as an athlete along that period of time. And one final one, I didn't have this plan, but are there any swimming drills that Dave puts you through that you absolutely hate? Superman drill. What's, what's that? You're going to have to talk you it through. you to demonstrate it. So you have to lie on your stomach or your back and you put your arm above your head and you have to rotate your shoulder and you just kick for like however long Dave wants to do. Oh. And it's just a pain. It's because you got to use your stomach muscles. Exactly. Yeah. Superman drill. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to make a comeback to swimming, so maybe I'll avoid that one. But <laughs> Definitely. thanks for your time, and we would love to catch up with the two of you throughout the year to follow your progress. That's been another True Story Tuesday.